here we are, the last portage into Domain Lake from Glen. Portage number five. Don't blink or you might miss it. There it is, Domain Lake. Here we are, we made it. Domain Lake. After many hours of pouring over the topo maps and the Google images and a few previous days getting the route started in here. It's great to be here. Now that may have looked like a, a, a walk in the park, but I'm ready for a swim. Pardon me. Well, I'm here. I don't know what you call it, but I'm here. All I know on the map is a big, long, narrow lake that's intrigued me. And it's part of my route going north. So, a lot of the pressure's off now. I, I know I can make it through to my destination. It's pretty good times. This lake stretches for over three miles. And not very wide. But it should be a nice, beautiful lake to cruise down and camp tonight. Stop right now and have a little cup of coffee. Enjoy my ride. Paddling up to the Trapper's Trail, leaving the long and narrow lake to the north. There's a blaze on the tree to the left. Pretty old, but it's there. A big open trail heading up through the woods. Don't expect this and every lost portage you come across. I'm glad the trail's down here, not up there. More trappers portage. It's well marked over there. I can even see it on the Google satellite images, so I'm sure it's going to be an easy trail to follow. That's going to put me out into semi-civilized world again. I'm taking one last little break here in the boondocks. Got some rice and beans cooking up. Boil up another another cup of coffee. And I'll probably polish off this jar of dark chocolate dreams. A little treasure that Bonnie found for me to bring in this trip. Peanut butter blended with rich dark chocolate. Here's where we hope for a, a rare treat in bushwhacking. An open stream between two lakes. My notes say that it's supposed to be so, but sometimes the beavers and high winds have other things to say about that. was a close one.
Well, looks great. We're still okay. Things are looking good. Well, here I sit, kind of stuck between a swamp and a really hard place. I made one trip through the really hard place and water up to my thighs and spongy moss, and I don't want to do it again, so I'm going to try to haul the rest of my gear through these open time of woods here and try to connect all, all these rock lines and see if I can push my canoe through eventually. Horsepower wise it should be a lot less. Getting near lunchtime caught me here in the middle of nowhere so I needed some water for my mac and cheese and coffee so I went back down that wet trail a ways and dipped some water out of some moose tracks um, making sure it boils a little extra long today. But I think that's about got it. Everything should be dead in there by now. Coffee's done. Mac and cheese water put on to sterilize it first. We'll make it just on the plan B, not plan A. Well, I took all my gear over the high road. I think it was definitely the right choice. Now I just need to find some way. I got one pack that I brought over through the wet trail. This is where the trapper's trail ended up. They love it wet. I can tell you that. I just need to pull in here, wade through here a little bit. Better 20 yards and 400.